guys, this is Adam from Extreme Hummer Performance. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about our coilover conversion kit for the H1 and just wanted to show you guys what you actually get in the kit. Um, as you can see, our custom fabricated control arms are powder coated with brand new bushings pressed in them. You've got your King shocks. This is our standard piggyback reservoir in the standard King blue. There's other options available we'll talk about shortly. Comes with the limit straps, the spacers for the limit straps really high quality grade 8 hardware with armor coating this has significantly better corrosion resistance than the standard zinc plating on grade 8 hardware got new ball joints our upper shock mounts powder coated and ready to go and all the hardware bagged and ready to rock um, as you can see the shocks are down here in the box this is how they'll come from king and we also provide the coils which can be set up anywhere from 300 to 800 pounds per inch depending on the weight of the vehicle we can walk over and show you some of our other installs um, so you can get an idea of what options are available for the shocks and what it looks like on the vehicle. So here we've got a 2006 Alpha H1 Hummer that we uh, just installed our big brake kit on and are finishing up the suspension install. And this is kind of gives you an idea what it looks like on the vehicle. Um, our kit does require a body lift. Um, the Alpha comes with a two inch body with lift with just enough to clear our system. Uh, most of our Duramax conversions are uh, including a three inch body lift. So as long as you have a minimum two inch body lift, you should have no problem clearing it. As you can see, the mounts just bolt into place. There's no welding, cutting, or modification required to install this system. So here's a, uh, another restoration project we're doing for a customer. This is an H1 wagon that we're doing a full restore on. He's had our Duramax conversion, our big brake kit for quite some time, but just wanted to show you some of the shock options. He did opt for the custom gold anodized color and also the remote reservoir rather than the piggyback reservoir, which does give you the option to add a compression adjuster, which is a nice feature on these shocks. So here's another one of our current projects. This one's a little unique as you can see because this is one of our six wheel drive conversions. Uh, this one's almost complete. This has our big brake kit on it as well and our standard coilover setup, but he did opt for the black anodized, but it is in the standard piggyback reservoir setup. Um, it's a pretty unique vehicle with our Ford 9 inch differential setup in it and a lot of custom pieces. Here, I'll walk around the back here with you and you can take a look at how much the ground clearance is improved by the new control arm design. It's a significant improvement over the factory control arm. Gains almost three inches of ground clearance in this area, which gives you a lot better uh, approach angle on some obstacles. And as you can see, the control arm is very stout. It's got rock guards built into it, really heavy duty material, so you're not going to be damaging that. So, uh, yeah, if you got any more questions about our system, please visit our website, uh, xhp.parts. Uh, you can also send us an email through our contact page. You'll find this coilover kit on our site available for purchase. We typically try to keep a couple systems in stock. Uh, your shocks will be your long lead item depending on your choices there. But uh, we've had a lot of success with this kit. I installed, I don't know, probably a couple dozen of these so far and had nothing but really happy reviews from all of our customers. So hopefully we'll see this system on your Hummer soon. Have a good day.